black as well as brown folks, even just walking down the streets of their hometown, minding their own business, not involved in any kind of criminal behavior whatsoever, being threatened by the police, stopped by the police, shot by the police. That's the problem. You know, we know in surveys that white Americans overestimate the percentage of crime committed by black people. That's because we in the media and in society perpetuate these ideas that when white people commit crimes, it's an aberration. But when but black you do, people to your point, crimes, when you brought up, Matt, you know, these shooters. All right, uh, welcome to Gimme Five. Radical leftist Sally Khan. Folks, blacks commit a very disproportionate amount of crime in this country. They are a minority, but they commit a majority of violent crime. Uh, look at any city. I mean, this is ridiculous that it's a, a misnomer, that it's a, it, it's, it's a myth that blacks commit a, a, a lot of crime. Disproportionately, blacks commit a lot more crimes than their uh, representation in the population, much, much more. This is insane. Now she's blaming that on the media? How about blaming the media and CNN, where you're on, for cop-hating and riots? Here's more. You really can't compare Baltimore and Waco. Oh, right. my God. I, I know you do, right. but I think that's really a stretch, all right? And I think that's great talking points for you, you know, for, you know, for what you believe in. But the fact is you, each situation is different. Yeah. I mean, a riot in Baltimore where there's a whole community involved in something going on compared to an area that's cordoned off by the police, all right? And to be talking that, you know, we got to have a well, Let's, 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 let's agree with you. Oh, sorry. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what, what can I say? That's uh, Harry Houck, by the way, who we discovered. And I'm uh, happy that he's now, you know, get, working there at CNN. And they outnumbered him three against one, but he held his own. And then Charles Blow, who's one of the most disrespectful liberals on TV when he uh, just, you know, berates his fellow panelists. Here's more. Then let's take a historical perspective and then look at racial riots in America, right? Because we do have comparable situations and that are much, even much, much worse where whole communities of black people were wiped off the map in America that are comparable are worse than what Ferguson were and even then we did not pathologize white America the way that we pathologize African Americans whenever there is a riot or any sort of disturbance like we saw in Baltimore or Ferguson and that is the bigger problem and then we take that pathology and we say well how many single fathers and let's talk about some hard truths I mean how many fathers are not in the home and how many kids born to single parents He's talking about, I guess, the, 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 the 50s and the 60s. I don't know what he's referring to specifically where entire black communities were wiped out. But he's going back that far. Maybe he's going back, I don't know, to slavery days. I mean, what are the apples and oranges at this point? More. If you look at the history of rioting and, and racial violence in this country, it was happening, a lot of it, when when two parents in the household was the norm right they were these people were going home to wife and kids after terrorizing people in the street had nothing to do with whether or not the father was in the home mm -hmm. or not and a lot of times okay. in, in in the case of lynchings they were bringing the wife and kids out to see what they had done the savages right, so that now they we're going back to the forties yeah. and thirties yeah. and the twenties and way right. before that because this because, is now because blind a clue it's all a historical it's 2015 now no, blind okay come on I don't know what the heck Charles Blow is trying to, to prove. What's his point? What is his point? And, you know, that whites are bad, and uh, when they did what they did, they were evil, but blacks now have a reason to do what they do. I guess that's his point. Here's more. When you have an analysis that says, oh, look, the fact that black people are talked about differently in the media, black people are talked about differently when they commit crimes, uh, that black people are talked about differently when they don't even commit crimes. Look at how we uh, smeared victims of police violence who are black. I don't know what she's talking about. I really don't know what she's talking about. We smear victims of police violence who are black and didn't commit crimes. Who? Uh, Trayvon Martin, who was, wasn't a cop incident, of course. Uh, Michael Brown. I mean, were we smearing them or just telling the truth about them? I think the court has proven we were telling the truth about them. Here's one more. Look at issues like Ferguson, and, and it's a microcosm of what's happening in America. We talk about missing black men. That is part of that is about mass incarceration and it is disproportionately affect African-American men. And when you look at, I know, I know we, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, can I finish? Or you wanna jump in and talk? Oh, so black men are in prison for no reason. And that's why there's fewer black men home with their kids in these neighborhoods. Thanks for watching.